Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio tip, and this is uh, tip number 20, I believe, already. It goes fast. Uh, tip number 20 for March the 6th, 2019, and it has to do with single sideband. So maybe you've got one of the receivers with single sideband, and you're wondering, because it says there's upper and lower sideband. Um, I don't see that on my radio. A lot of receivers don't have the separate upper lower sideband. So why? Because when that happens, when this, there's no indication of an upper lower sideband, so I'm, put, I'm going to put this radio into um, sideband mode. And what happens is that when I do so, uh, let's uh, just go into SSB here on this radio and there the little red light in it it says it's like it looks green on the on the on the camera but it's a red light right now so I'm in single sideband tuning right now but there's no indication here on the display is it upper lower sideband that's because when you don't have an indication you usually have this little BFO or this um, fine adjustment sometimes they call it fine adjustment sometimes it's BFO and that means that it actually goes from one way to the other when you tune in single sideband signals you got to be centered here now you might okay what does that mean well on this radio the um, Sanjian ETS 505 they did something really intelligent there's a little dent so when you actually move it you feel that there's a dent where it wants to stop and that's the zero beat or that's where it's pretty much neutral and when you want to tune a signal if you go up or down you're actually going to tune a signal either in upper or lower sideband it's tricky to tune single sideband signals when you don't have the full you know the separate USB uh, or uh, LSB switches but it works well once you get a hang of it and you got to practice so to do so and to practice put it centered and if you don't know where it's actually centered because a lot of receivers don't have that little dent go one way until it stops until you can't continue and go the other way until it stops and you can continue and do it in a certain uh, way so for example if I use the same steps roughly with my finger one two three four five six seven eight nine so the way I did it it went from one way to the other in nine steps so try to do the same steps and say one two three four and just a little more I actually felt the dent so I'm actually really close already of the center and just stop so if it took ten finger uh, movements to actually go from one side to the other well go back up or down depending on the direction you went five steps of and try to be consistent of pretty much the same steps that you've used you'll roughly be at the center another way to actually know if you're centered and it's not perfect because some receivers are off a little bit tune a known signal so uh, here I'm going to tune a signal on the medium wave band and oh I can't tune single segment on this thing on medium wave so um, let's me just try to get a signal here that I can use or use another radio I'll try to uh, get myself a signal that I can actually use um, in the band so um, that is tricky so let's I'm gonna get a, a very strong shortwave signal I usually have one on 15610. So let me just extend the antenna. Hopefully it's going to work. And just tune around to get something strong enough that it will be usable. So find yourself one strong signal on the bands that you can actually use the uh, the switch band switch with. So I got one here on 13845, and notice that when I Turn the switch. You see that the tone changes as I choose and use my BFL. 
what you want to do is use one of those non signals and turn it until you hear no beat at all that's pretty much where you're centered on your receiver so now you know that you're pretty much zero beat if you try to tune a single sideband signal you are roughly zero beat you'll be able to tune an amateur signal and just move upwards or downwards depending on your receiver for the upper lower sideband it's a little tricky and maybe you didn't understand fully what I'm saying here but get a hang of it by using that little wheel and of course if you're one of the lucky guys that have a radio that has separate upper lower sideband makes it a little easier uh, rule of thumb everything that's um, utility signals upper sideband in amateur radio above um, above 10 megahertz upper sideband below 10 megahertz lower sideband exception to the rule the 60 meter band but roughly that's how it's going to be so uh, have fun with your radios and understanding how to use that little BFO wheel to uh, tune in single sideband signals it will be tricky at first uh, it takes some getting used to in order to eventually find where and how to tune single sideband signals but uh, practice it and you'll see that you'll become a champion at tuning single sideband signals on these if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching